Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I have the how to use the Apple AirTags tutorial and we're going to be going over everything you can do with them including AirTags tips and tricks. Let's get started. All right, so like I said, we're gonna go through everything you can do with these AirTags here, starting from the basics and setup and going more in detail with more advanced features, tips, and tricks. So if you do wanna skip ahead, there are chapters with timestamps in the description. You can click on those and skip to exactly what you wanna learn. All right, now the first thing we're gonna focus on is actually when you unwrap this. As soon as you pull this tab off of these AirTags here, that's going to enable the battery on the back and it's going to start to sort of burn through its battery. So we pull the tab, you hear that little chime and that means the battery is now activated and it's going to start draining down over time. Fortunately, you can change the batteries on these and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Now, once you have your AirTag unwrapped and the batteries activated, how to connect the AirTag to your iPhone is pretty simple. You're just going to unlock your phone and put it down near the AirTag like so. And you can see that the AirTag connection options will appear very similar to AirPods. We'll tap connect. You wanna choose the name of your AirTag, so usually what it's connected to. You even have a custom option down here. Let's just say wallet for this example and tap continue. You'll see your Apple credentials here for your ID, so you do need to have your phone connected to an Apple ID and tap continue. It'll go through the setup process, takes just a few seconds. And now you can see that it's connected with the name Daniel's wallet. You'll see a little map of where it's located at this moment, you'll have some options here to use precise finding, play sound, directions on map. I'll show you that a little bit later in the Find My application, but for now, we can tap done. So now that we have our AirTag set up, pretty much we don't have to do anything at this point unless we lose something. So if we lose this AirTag, for example, where you're going to go to find it is the Find My application on your iPhone. Now this should be there already, and it's used for all of your iOS and Mac devices to find them. So you locate this application on your phone and open it up. It'll open up to a page similar to this, depending on how you have it set up. It might be in the devices section. We're looking at items because that's where the air tags are located. Now in this section here, you can see we have my backpack, which is actually this air tag I set up earlier. We also have the wallet, which I set up on screen and you'll see the addresses underneath of their last known locations or where they're located right now. And you can see these two say now. For example, let's say we did lose these air tags. We can actually tap on the one that's lost, so we'll tap on the wallet. A map will appear of its last known location. Right now it's saying with you, but if it wasn't with you and it was disconnected, it would show you a different setting here. Now, we can tap to play the sound if it's in a location. For example, let's say you lose it in the couch or something like that, where you are now. It knows where it is, but you can't find it. You can tap play sound. And that's actually coming from the AirTag itself. Once it's found, all you have to do is tap on the sound or it'll stop after a certain amount of time. You also have the precision location or find option. So if you can't hear the sound of your AirTag, this will give you some location and direction that'll help you locate it. So let's say these were a little bit further away. For example, on another floor, you can tap find and it'll kind of give you a map location searching for the signal try moving to a different location let's just kind of move around here and you'll get this sort of arrow that's going to direct you and if i turn to my right or left it's going to say turn to your right and kind of guide you as you're walking almost like a hot and cold game you might have played as a kid and when you get close enough to it for example i'm going to actually bring it towards the phone that's what it looks like and you can actually feel the haptic feedback in your hand while you're doing this. So that's pretty much how that would work. You also have options here to access a light. So if you need a flashlight, maybe you're in the dark. And then you also can play the sound the same way I showed you earlier. Now, if you ever run into the situation where you play the sound and the air tag is just not found, it's not ringing, you can't hear it. This traditionally means you've lost it or it's not in range of your iPhone. Now these air tags have about 30 feet, give or take, depending on where you are. And also they are a little bit waterproof, so about a meter for 30 minutes. But otherwise, uh, you would wanna walk around your house wherever you think it may be lost to see if it is reachable. But if you get this notification and it's not popping up, you then wanna scroll upwards 
and you have the notifications here. We want to make sure these are enabled and we have a mode called lost mode. Now, when we enable lost mode, it's going to create this very unique setting here where it's going to notify you when it's found. It's pairing lock, which means that no one else who may find your AirTag can unlock this and pair it to it. So that means it's yours and it's locked. You also have a section here where you can leave a phone number and a message to be displayed for the person who finds this item. We'll tap continue. We'll enter in our phone number, then tap next. Just ensure that your notification when found is on, you can see the phone number and a little note. And then when you tap activate, lost mode will now pop up as enabled. Now, if the AirTag is found by someone, for example, I have another phone here, and they take the AirTag, place it, depending on where NFC is located, so on iPhones, it's usually the top. They just place it on the back of the phone like this with the plastic side up, and you'll see a little web page open up. So again, we'll just put it up close. It pops up, tap on it, and you'll get a page like this here, and you can see that it says, this item has been lost, please call me, and the phone number is right there. They can tap on the phone number, and they can call the person who may have lost the AirTag. Now, that's if they want to be a nice person and help you find the AirTag. So that's pretty much the process that you would go through in lost mode. Now, if it is found, you can tap here and you can turn off lost mode. Let's say you found it in your house, maybe the battery died, who knows? Turn it off right here, turn off. Otherwise, you're pretty much waiting for them to be found and someone to find them for you. Now let's get into some AirTags tips and tricks. The first one is how to replace the battery on your AirTags. Now from time to time, you may need to replace them. They should have about a year's life, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But changing the battery is pretty easy, pretty convenient with these as well. So just on the back, you're just going to press and turn with two fingers like so. It should pop right off. And the battery is this one right here. I hope you can see it. And I'll link you to this battery in the description from Amazon. They're really cheap and they pretty much last that year's time. And you can actually pick them up at the dollar store as well. Now, putting the back case back on, you just want to align these little clips with the back of the case. And then again, this time you're just going to press and turn clockwise. You'll hear a chime. That means you're back in business. Now, if you ever need to reset the air tags, because like anything, they can, uh, you know, have some issues. Maybe they're not working correctly. You need to reset them. Resetting it is a little bit annoying, but it's pretty easy. So again, on the back, you're going to turn. So press and turn counterclockwise, and you're going to remove the battery. You're going to do this five times. So you remove the battery, put it back in. Remove the battery, put it back in. You got to do that five times. So we've done it twice, three, four, and five. The fifth time it resets. Now you just want to put the back of the AirTag case on. Now when you unlock your phone, bring it close by, you'll see that it is reset and can be connected. For the next tip, we're going to open the Find My app once again. And we're in our section here where we can see all of our devices. We're going to tap on the backpack and we're going to scroll up. If you ever need to remove an item, you can just tap remove right here. You'll get this information. So if you want to remove the tag, this item is linked to your Apple ID. Removing this item will allow it to be activated and used by another person. So keep that in mind. So maybe you have too many. I have four. You can remove it. Tap remove. It's removed from your Apple ID. You can give it to someone else. They can use it for their own use. Or if you have a new phone, it's not going to be the same Apple ID. If you want to connect it again, that's all you do. So again here, tap remove. And it's as simple as that. You no longer see that AirTag in my Find My app. Now, if you ever want to rename your AirTag, you can do so as well from the Find My application here. So we'll tap on this one. Scroll up again. We're going to tap the rename item here. We have it named wallet. Let's use a custom name this time. And we can choose an emoji for this little picture that's going to be beside it. So any emoji you want, you can use your, the whole list here. Let's just say we'll put a pair of pants and we'll call it pants. Maybe a really nice pair of pants you don't want to lose. Tap done. And now you can see at the top they're named pants. And if we X out, 
you can see even the little icon in the circle where it's located has a little pair of pants on it as well. Now, as good as these air tags are, there is a possibility that someone may or may not try to use these in a malicious way. So safety is really important. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. First off, if you ever get a notification on your phone that says air tag found moving with you, you want to take action right away. You either want to look for that item or figure out what's going on and you want to tap on that notification it'll prompt you and it'll give you a safety alert on your phone that's going to say that your current location can be seen by the owner of this tag so right there you know that the owner of this tag potentially could be tracking where you are now in the most cases it's probably a situation where you were driving someone they left their keys in your car and that notification may help you find those keys and you can then notify your friend or whoever was with you that you have them but in the situation where the tag is not someone you know, you don't realize where it's coming from, and you find it in your bag, you want to disable it. And it's pretty easy to disable these tags. This is the page right here. I'll link you to this in the description as well because it's important so you can disable it. All you have to do is on the back of the tag, two fingers, press down and turn counterclockwise and just remove the battery. When you remove the battery, you're essentially killing the power to this. That way, whoever put that in your bag can no longer track you. Additionally, if you get that notification and you can't find where that tag is, let's say they threw it in your car and you've been looking everywhere, it'll start to beep. At some point, after it's not found for a while, it'll start to beep so that way you can find it and hear it and take action on it if it's needed. So again, Probably not going to happen too often, but in the situation where you hear this or get that notification, those are the steps to take. And again, with your safety, you always want to be vigilant. So it's really important to know and understand how this works. So that is the Apple AirTags tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. The process is pretty easy as I showed you, but obviously things can come up. So definitely feel free to ask. As always, there's a link in the description to a full playlist of great iPhone tutorials, tips and tricks. So if you wanna learn more, check those out. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos as many more are coming. And if you wanna help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.